Hmm, stupid thing broke again. Well, that's just not gonna work. If only there was a better way. But wait, there it is. Dum 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 dum. Ta da! Oh look, a toolkit specifically for fixing tiny stuff. Let's see what it's about. Hi everybody, and welcome back to the channel. Now, first off, I'd like to say I hope everybody had a great Memorial Weekend. I've always felt a little uncomfortable saying have a happy Memorial Day because whilst it is a happier day um, because you know freedoms and all um, we are honoring the memory of those that passed away giving their life in the fight for our freedom so it's more of a, a sober moment I think but uh, you know all said and done we celebrate their memory uh, by enjoying enjoying the freedoms that we have, you know, freedoms like eating bacon and women, you know, voting kind of stuff. Things that other countries don't have. So, I hope everybody had a great weekend. And I salute all those fallen soldiers, all the mothers and fathers and sons and daughters that have had loved ones that gave their life and the ultimate sacrifice uh, for our country and our freedoms. I salute all of y'all. A lot of y'all know there is the right tool for every job. And whilst a nice powerful drill is not exactly the right tool for this job, it is certainly the right tool for a lot of other jobs, and you know what, maybe we'll just uh, have to see what we can do with it. But this, however, is the iFixit kit. Now this is the iFixit, to be specific, this is the iFixit ProTech toolkit. Um, one of their fancier things, it comes with a bunch of other stuff, and it's very popular. Uh, a lot of guys on the YouTube, if you've been on the tech channels on YouTube, then you're already familiar with this. Uh, Linus Tech Tips, Jay Z's Two Cents, Bitwit, Paul's Heart, everybody uses the thing. Like everybody uses iFixit. For good reason. Not only do they supposedly make a pretty decent product, but they market the. they, they market it a lot. Um, so I thought, you know, as a review of some of the tools that we are going to be using, not only in the past have used but in the future will be using uh, in some of our projects um, so, you know what why not try this out let's open it up and see what's it about see what it's about yeah I speak English as like a there, you know one time somebody told me that in order to be considered speaking a language that you have to speak it fluently but I can't even speak English fluently so I guess I just don't have any languages Anyhow, let's take our uh, special Verge computer building screwdriver here. It's a joke. Look it up. Verge computer build. Anyhow, and uh, let's open this up and see what it's about. Again, we're using the dual camera angles, so hopefully I'll be able to get some close-up shots for you so you can see what I'm talking about, and just in case this camera doesn't pick it up. Move this a little kind of crowd in my space. Oh, there's two stickies. First off, I'd like to know, packaging has come a long way in the recent years. Like, manufacturers never really paid a, a great deal of attention to packaging in the past. You know, they'd stick a box on it, they'd put a pretty picture on the box, and that's what you got. You open it up and it was more about the product than it was the box, but um, recently, I want to blame Apple for this, but that might not be 100% true, but Apple definitely does go the extra mile to make sure their boxes are snazzy. But it's nice, honestly. It is. 
you end up with a, a higher quality finish and you you know you pick the thing up and uh, it, it's more pleasing is what it comes down to so again nicely packaged box easy to open oh, it's pretty straightforward so the whole thing comes in this here vinyl tote it's not vinyl it's a uh, I don't know what you call this nylon so the whole thing comes in this tote it's a uh, you know that it's convenient is, is really what that comes down to so let's open this thing up again with the velcro I think nobody knows how to tie knots alright so there's a great deal of stuff in here we have some stuff and more stuff let me push this to the side alright now I'm probably gonna get the names a little mixed up here so let, uh, let's see alright so this is an anti-static strap so you would put this on your wrist zip it up to your wrist and it has a little uh, metal piece there and then this, the point of this there you go, banana clip so the point of this is to plug into either an outlet or an existing anti-static mat so that you don't well, have a static shock uh, it grounds you out so you don't build up static electricity and fry your electronic components you know like the CPUs that are so sensitive to static shock yeah so alright static strap that's snazzy uh, this is a suction cup suction cup used to so it's a hefty handle for a suction cup uh, the point of this is let's say I want to pull this screen off right um, this one you don't have to use it uh, these are actually really nice, which is, is why I always stuck with the iPhones because they're easy to take apart, but the newer ones are getting there. So if you needed to pull the screen or the glass off of a glued surface, then you would heat it up and then you would use this here suction cup to pull. You know, so heat it up and then you would use it to pull off. I'm not, yeah, see that? That definitely does the grab. That's a much better suction cup than the POS as I've used before. Uh, just to be specific, anytime you buy, for you guys that haven't repaired your own phones, which I endorse repairing your own phones, if you can, uh, but for you guys that um, haven't done it, uh, when you buy, especially on Amazon, when you buy screens and glasses and parts for cell phones, they usually give you like these really cheap tools and, and I've gotten away with using the really cheap tools in the past like quite a bit um, so this is, is a significant upgrade to that uh, so I don't need the really cheap tools hopefully this provides a higher level of quality to the items suction cups are already a higher level of quality that's for sure uh, these here little prying tools uh, so the idea of these and they give you a few of them because these things get messed up so the idea of these is, because you, you know, let's say you have a glued surface, and you need to get in there and, you know, wiggle your way up in there and then pry it loose. Or the plugs that are inside that connect to the motherboard, you can go in there, pick them loose, and uh, which is probably a better use for them because they're non-conductive. So you're not going to mess up the motherboard or the what do they call it? I think they call it something different on a cell phone, but I'm going to call it the motherboard. You don't mess up the motherboard inside the cell phone prying the things up. Move on to this. So we got guitar picks, a bunch of them. I, I can't play a guitar. My cousin can, he's actually pretty decent. Cousin Joey, yeah, he can play a guitar, but I can't. These things aren't for playing guitars. Um, these are actually. I'm not the professional here, so I may not get this right, but I'm pretty sure, say you were pulling up a piece of glass or um, uncovering a panel that had a glued edge, then you could stick these up in that edge as you went along prying to hold it open. 
without, they're very thin, so you can stick it in there, you know, you can pull the edge and stick this up in there. So once you get the edge unglued, then you can stick this up in there and move on to the next millimeter or so, because it takes for fucking ever. And this just, these hold your place so that it doesn't fall back down and re-glue itself. So, they're handy. Personally, I've never used them, but they're handy. And this one comes with a bunch of them and snazzy little elastic holder for them. Right on. Moving on. Tweezers. Oh no, I'm sorry, these aren't tweezers. What's that called? They're not forceps. They're like uh, reverse tweezers. Is that a thing? You know what? I have an idea. You didn't see this. I think there's a list. Alright, Phillips Torque Suction Cup Opening Tool, Six Opening Picks. Yep, Nylon Tip Reverse Tweezers. Had it right the first time. These are nice, actually. So they, uh, they actually got a decent amount of heft to them and a decent amount of spring. And, uh, yeah, they got a decent amount of hold power. So I'm assuming you would use this in the instance that you needed it to hold on to something and you just can't use your, you don't have use of your fingers to hold on to it. Very nice. Solid piece. We got these here angle tweezers. That looks a. Uh... Well, you know what? Looking at it, I don't know if it's supposed to be this way, but one of these tips is significantly more fine than the other. I don't know if it's going to matter, but I would kind of expect both of them to be the same. You're not going to see that on the camera. I don't know, maybe you can. Maybe if I get up, like, right up close. You can see it, but that's a little disappointing. I don't know if it's going to matter, but it's definitely a thing. Then we move on to the straight tweezers. Well, that's just a that's just a blunt grabbing object right there. Yes, sir. Then we move on to. Button angle tweezers, standard spudger. I guess that's a spudger. Okay. And then a Helbert spudger. And then a metal spudger. And then a Jimmy. Okay. So, standard spudger. Decent plastic. Bends a little bit. Not too bad. Don't use it if you're not, if you think it's going to break, I guess. Or if you do break it. Oh, that's nice. A little hook tool there, I guess. If you need to hook something, like if you're reaching in to hook a cable. Kind of a little uh, knife edge gadget there. This one seems a little more useful. This one you could actually get in and give a little twist to just a little bit so next you have your jimmy the point of this is is pretty obvious I think you would use this to uh, you know get up under the glass and delicately get the glue undone from in there and then when you were doing that you would take I'm gonna stop that thing with my tongue you know Get your jimmy up in there and get that glue work loose and then stick these here guitar picks in there to hold place while you know move it along again don't need that for that apple might need it for the newer apples i'm not sure so that's nice definitely a significant upgrade from what i've been using now here's where the kit really gets useful and this is my domain where i've normally worked I mean, I've been using screwdrivers a long time. 
I mean, when I first started using screwdrivers, they ended up being more like pokers and prodders, but uh, I've definitely been using screwdrivers a long time. This is a lid, so that's just a... Is that magnetic? I'm not sure. I think maybe magnetic just refers to the fact it has the magnets. Yeah, it just has the magnets in the middle right there. So, that way it magnetically holds on to this. Here we got the compound that you're not supposed to eat. I don't think I'll eat that. Oh, I missed. Alright, here's where we get down to the nitty gritty. This is where I fix it. Well, actually I should say this is one of the areas that I fix it is supposed to set itself apart. Not only are these tools significantly better than the average tools, especially the average tools that I've been using. Um, this is supposed to be the, the main part of it. Oh, look at this. I think this is magnetic. So I can push this up here and just have this. So this is what's called a four millimeter screw set. So this is the driver, which has a four millimeter socket. It's made of aluminum. It's not heavy by any means, but definitely smooth. Oh, they put a little bearing. So it's got one of those, um, what do you call it? Uh, press caps on there. So, you know, you can put some weight to it and press down and spin. It has a bearing in there. That is nice. I'll admit that is very nice. It is. This little gadget is handy, I will say that for sure. So this little gadget gives you the ability to get on in there in a funky angle. This may come in handy when like building computers or something, maybe. But um, I know they're snazzy. So it's like a flex coupling. Allows you to get up in there and turn that. So you can probably notice that. It's turned smooth. This is smooth. I like this driver. I really do. And this is snazzy. I may not use that very often, but it is snazzy. So this has how many bits? Oh, 64 bit. Had to read. I hate it when I have to read. Makes me think about things. So yeah, this, it's very nice driver. I have to admit, it's a very, very nice driver aluminum construction, a bearing press cap, press pivot, whatever you want to call it. Um, so we got these other bits in here. Things like, what is this? This is a 5.5 millimeter. It's magnetic. So those bits stay in there. So that's snazzy. What is this? Seems like uh, it's just a magnet. Oh, actually, I like that. I, especially if I put it on here. Did you drop the screw? Maybe I did drop the screw. Oh, that's not magnetic. That doesn't stay in there. Oh, I was wrong. You got to push. So, <gasps> I dropped a screw. Cool. I got the screw. Yeah, I could. I like that. So, being somebody who drops screws pretty often, thanks to carpal tunnel and who knows what all else is wrong with me yeah I like that a lot this seems like uh, just another extension of the grabby force oh wait a second <laughs> I know what that is this is gonna come in handy a little bit in a little bit yeah look at this there's some there's some very interesting ones in here so not only do we have an assortment of Phillips screwdriver bits, here's those triangle bits. What are they calling that triangle? Imagine that. So triangle bits, I think that's a tiny triangle bit. Oh no, those are the three pointed bits. What are they calling that? Tri-point, I can imagine that. And then torques. Allen, flat, 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 flat. Safety torques, safety torques, in case you didn't know. Safety torques is when they have the little dot in the middle. 
I don't know why they call it safety, more of a security measure that originally came out so that like you could use safety torques on your license plates and uh, you put safety torque screws on your license plates and then nobody could just walk up with just any old bit and take your license plate off but nowadays you can pick those up anywhere so it doesn't even matter. I keep getting this stupid thing stuck to my arm. Such a droll. Anyhow. Um, more Torx bits, some more safety bits. There's a funky bit. What the hell is that? A JIS? Okay. Square, square, Phillips, 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 Allen, 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 Allen. What the fuck is this? This might be a nut driver contraption. Uh, the the two pointed stuff. More Allens, I think, and then the different millimeter uh, sockets. So yeah, it's pretty snazzy. It's pretty involved. Not bad. Not bad at all. So the piece just snaps right in there. If all you want is the... Oh yeah, look, they got little magnets right there. So if you stick it, if you got a piece of metal, you can stick it to a piece of metal. But, um, yeah, if all you want is the screwdrivers, then there's the screwdrivers. But if you're working on many other things than the screwdrivers, then you have the whole set. I like this. It's nice. In my opinion of it, it's a pretty great set. Definitely worth it. Uh, obviously, it's not complete. I mean, you got an anti-static strap, but you don't have an anti-static mat. So, I'm not sure the point of that. And usually when you get an anti-static mat, it'll come with an anti-static strap. So, I'm not sure the point of that. I guess it's nice have in there. I feel like it's filler. Well, that strap is probably just filler. A few of these here little pry tools and they give you a few of the guitar picks because those things wear out. The the nylon reverse tweezers, nylon tipped reverse tweezers, the whole point of the nylon tip is so that you can grab things without damaging them like say glass. Like if you're applying a, a piece of glass, you know, screen or protector or whatever you want, then you can use that and it doesn't won't scratch the glass or break it. At the same time, if you're nice enough with it, uh, it's great. But in the event you needed to replace the tips, they just unscrew. And if you need a driver to unscrew that, well, by all means, you got a driver right here to unscrew that. Imagine that. The tweezers, like I said, the tweezers are a little on the what the hell kind of side with those different facing tips. And this one's even bent already. So, you know, I, I can't say much for their tweezers. Maybe I'll let my wife use them, see what she thinks. So that's that's the iFixit kit. Pretty snazzy. Definitely gets the job done. That product placement. So here's the thing. I like the iFixit kit. I do. I definitely recommend it. I am shaking the bejesus out of this other camera. Anyhow, I like the iFixit kit. I definitely recommend getting the iFixit kit, especially if you're starting off and you don't have the tools that you need to do things like simple cell phone repair. Then it gives you the things you need. It gives you plenty of bits, plenty of options. And it works. It's very nice. I gotta admit, the driver is nice to handle. But here's the thing. I kind of got an affinity for power drills. By the way, that's my first drill ever. And it still works when the battery's not dead. Point is. Who wants to drive a screw by hand? Right? Sometimes you just need a little more power. Enter the wow stick. 1F plus. So this is a four millimeter 
powered driver. So four millimeter screwdriver, which is a nice screwdriver. This is a four millimeter powered driver. Again, I mean, this thing is from China. So look, I don't expect a hell of a lot out of here. And to say this, the WOW Stick 1F Plus, it, ran, it runs about 40 to 50 bucks, uh, depending where you buy it from. Uh, it's about mid-range. There are drivers that are snazzier than this, ones that have like hand motion control, like you move your hand that direction and it starts spinning that direction and variable torque and all the whatever hoot and nanny that goes with it. This doesn't have that. This has a switch. Push it one way, turns clockwise. Push it the other way, turns counterclockwise. Recharges with a micro USB. Yes, it's a micro USB, not USB-C. And, but it does come with some stuff. So, let's see what it comes with. Again, the box, it's all right. Nice feel to it not too cheap frankly they probably put half their budget into the packaging some Chinese stuff that I can't read and then we have a lot like the older iPhone openings <laughs> a bunch of little packages that are neatly folded in stuff there's a little thing all right pull this out so that's something then there's four somethings there uh, something here and a something here cool all right let's start with the bigger stuff so this package well that's that's cute it was already dirty yeah that's dirt from China I probably paid extra for that okay it's a magnetic case very cheap Definitely a very cheap case. But it's, I guess it's better than nothing. You can stick your stiff in there. Uh, let's see what this is. It says, I'm a base. See, it says, I'm a base. <clears throat> I guess it's, Daddy sing bass. Mama sing tenor. Me and little Johnny just join right in there. So, um, hmm. I guess it's just a, is that a film, protective film in there? Yes. That's just a heavy, it's a paperweight. It's, they, it's, a, it's a paperweight. That's exactly what that is. All right. This is, uh, I am a toolbox. Well, that's a tool, all right. Okay, so there's stuff. All right, this is interesting. Remember I talked about those really cheap suction cups? Yeah. That's a really cheap suction cup. All right, here's a little charging cable for the to charge the driver up. That's adorable. Uh, some extra screws. That are just random screws. Is this a glass jar or is it plastic? No, that's that's glass. Kind of cute. A magnetizer. Okay. I mean, I guess. You want to magnetize your bits or something like that. I've seen these around. I've never really used one. One of the cheapo guitar picks like this is one of the cheapo guitar picks like that's junk I don't need that oh yeah that's the paperweight okay let's open this one up oh I ripped it terrible opening experience so this appears to be some kind of mat what is this Easy and enjoy. 
crew pad. Oh snap, look at that. I can get behind that. Let it just stay right there. Look at that. Yeah. I can get behind that. I like it. Screw mat. One of these days I was intending to get one of those. Uh, Steve from Gamers Nexus has the uh, build mats. And he likes to put his screws on there. And I wonder if they have the same thing built into there. A little magnet pad to hold the screws. I don't know kind of see him playing around with the things that that's nice I can get behind that accessories all right so this is a bunch of four millimeter bits <laughs> Torx bits Phillips bits Allen bits all right does that fit in there I think it's supposed to. More accessories. And, alright, more bits. So these are Allens, Flatheads, and a couple more Phillips. Okay. Alright, so far that fits. Yeah, but now, that's all you got. What good is that? Like, it only holds... Whatever. Oh, look. More bits. Well, this is kind of snazzy. This is, uh, these are long bits, which fill out of the packaging. Yeah. Or flatheads, your double points, your other funky one. What did they call that? A p whatever. It's a funky one. So more bits. So this should be the snazzy part. Ah, yes. This is the powered screwdriver. Now I'm going to say this. This, For the size of this thing, it's pretty light. And it's already scratched up. Yeah. But, I mean, whatever. 40 bucks from China. I guess you get what you get. Um, it's It's got aluminum to it. There's a charging port on the back of it. Let's see over there. Charging port. Aluminum. Oh, there's lights. And it's literally clockwise counterclockwise. So screw in, loosen. It's got a decent amount of torque to it. It's a little bit loose. Sounds kind of tinny, but it's not bad. So that concludes today's video. Thank you very much for watching and allowing me to share my opinions about the iFixit ProTech Toolkit and the WowStick 1F+. Again, I recommend the iFixit ProTech Toolkit for anybody who's starting out and wants to fix small things like cell phones and maybe even computers. The 1F Plus, sure. If you want a driver, go for it. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up. If you didn't like this video, hit the thumbs down. But I wouldn't mind knowing why you didn't like this video so I can make improvements in the future. Speaking of the future, I have a series of videos that you guys might actually find interesting. Since it's getting so hot out these days, I thought this would be a good time to go over a series of videos on how to make air conditioners. Starting from buckets full of ice, all the way up to fancier mechanical cooling systems. So follow along, make sure you're subscribed, make sure that bell icon is clicked so you can catch those videos when they come out. You guys have a good night, and thank you. Oh no. And I'm okay with the 1S, 1F plus. I can't even speak.
so I can make improvements in the future. And don't, if you 